Hello, good people, my YouTube and PCTV family. As promised, I brought my juicer out and I'm making a different juice outside of that celery juice. Last week, I bought some pears and they were extraordinarily sweet. So I said, I'm gonna make some pear juice. Now you probably heard me say this before, that when you buy fruit, it's a gamble because you never know what you're going to get. I'm going to take this perfect pear and make some pear juice or nectar. Let's see how sweet it turns out. Okay, let's see how much. I think I juiced, I cut up about six pears, not really sure, but anyway, it made 20 ounces. That's enough for Jay and me. Jay, would you like one? Yes. Okay, so here's two pear juice. This is the first time for me drinking pear juice, fresh or out of the can. <laughs> it's sweet too. Which I'm kind of surprised because usually pear juice is kind of like a thicker nectar. You like it? Yes. Very nice. So good people. I found another good one. Try it. If you don't have a juicer, you could use your blender. But then you would need your strainer to strain out the pulp. And it would be a good idea to get the uh, to get a piece of cheesecloth to put it on your strainer and then pour the actual juice or nectar in it and then you'd be able to squeeze it out but i'm going to enjoy this and uh stay tuned because next i'm going to make an easy pear salad mm. now see one of the things the reasons why you want to drink it right away because look it's discoloring it turns colors if you've noticed. It hasn't changed the flavor though. That's for sure. So anyway, good people. Try it. You might like it. about this pear salad and it's it's so easy to come together now I'm gonna take your favorite lettuce today I decided that I wanted to use spring leaf lettuce spring leaf is baby spinach radicchio some arugula all different types of lettuce you could use spring leaf lettuce not spring leaf but because uh, that's what I have right here you could use leaf lettuce you could even use, what's that lettuce comes in a head? Iceberg lettuce, just so long as it's your favorite. Now watch how all this comes together. Now you take your favorite, make sure you buy your favorite nuts, make sure you roast them in the oven, see, because roasting your nuts in the oven, no matter what kind they are, just makes the flavor come out 
so, so much more intense. It brings out all the natural oils and mm, 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 mm. need I say more. So you can slice your pear any way you want. I've sliced mine like this. I'm putting them around the sides, just like that. And just like an apple, you may have to take some type of citrus like lemon, sprinkle it on there because it'll turn brown if you don't. So next, I'm going to take my blue cheese. It's already crumbled. So I'm just gonna crumble it on as much or as little as you like. And if you didn't know already, blue cheese and pear go together very well. They pair together. Now I'm very using good. almonds and they're sliced almonds because that's what I had in my refrigerator. I mean, not refrigerator, but pantry. And then you just sprinkle a little bit of almonds on it, like I just right did. Right to the front, it's such an elegant, elegant salad. Now let's make some vinaigrette dressing. Let me show you, good people. I'm telling you, you've got to try to make your own homemade dressing, no matter what kind it is. It'll change your mind forever about buying bottled dressing. You'll wonder what the heck you've been eating. So let's start with about a half a cup of olive oil. Now I'm winging it, but you can measure. And we're gonna put three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. So that's one, that's two, and that's three. If you don't want a, a balsamic vinegar red, use red wine, use regular vinegar. It's all up to you. And then we're gonna put a tablespoon of honey, all right? And a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We're gonna put a little pinch of salt. And my favorite, since I met my husband, is freshly ground pepper. I never liked pepper before. I can't believe it until I started eating it, grinding it myself. So now when we go to restaurants, they say, you want some freshly grown pepper? Yeah, I do. So you mix that up and then you're gonna taste it. Mm -hmm. I love balsamic vinegar, it's sweet. And I find out, found out that it's made from grapes. So I'm gonna take my little gravy and put my dressing right in there like that. I'm gonna bring my salad back to the forefront. And I'm just gonna drizzle just a little bit of dressing on it. Yeah, just like so. Yum. So how simple was that? It came together in minutes. And like I've told you many times before, if you prep when it's time to actually put everything together, oh my goodness gracious, it's so easy. So here it is taste time, my favorite time. I'm gonna bite. Mmm. Mmm. I love the tartness of the balsamic vinegar and the combination with the blue cheese and the nut. Mm. Don't forget, use your favorite nut. Use your favorite vinegar. Use your favorite pear. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I can't help it.
when you use your favorite ingredients, that's the only way it's going to come out perfect, the way you like it. Mm. So, I'm going to have a piece of this lettuce. I can eat this whole salad, y'all. And my family members know it. Mmm. Mmm. The blue cheese. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So light. So fresh. It's delicious. Without any further ado, because I gotta eat this. Remember, the new sexy is being healthy, baby. T-A-G-G-F. Yes, 